Public Q and A presence ask Reddit question. Teachers, what are your reactions to being called mum by students? Haha, <laughs> I actually did this to my male 60 something grade 6 teacher, and he put on a squeaky voice and said, Yes, dear. Male middle school teachers were always the dopest motherfuckers around. Save for the PE coach. This is the funniest thing, and it made my week. I always thought it was sweet. I taught middle school. The boys got embarrassed when they did it. I teach middle school. It happens. I have been called mom more often than dad, though. This is odd because I am a male. I think it's less about the gender, and more about the role. Moms are usually the go-to in the house for everyday help. As are teachers in the classroom. Roll. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, dear. Now clean your room. But Mum. You heard what Mrs. Chief gives no fucks said. Now march. That got me. Shut up, you're not my real mom. You can't tell me what to do. I once told an old boss that. They asked me to do something I don't even remember what so just to mess with them I told them you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. In the middle of the production floor. They were male. They were younger than me. They had a sense of humor. I was then told to do as I was told or I would be grounded and sent to bed without dinner. You're not my dad. Stepmom, eh? Nice. For me it's because most of my teachers made me call them MS or MRS, last name, and mom also starts with M, it's not because I viewed them as a mother figure. Edit or thanks for the cake day wishes I hope y'all have a nice day. Stop living in denial. I always get called dad. Never have I ever been called mom and am very much a woman, biologically, mentally, and in presentation. I'll call you daddy if it will make you feel better. Delete please. Daddy. Not a teacher but that's how I feel when kids I babysit accidentally call me mom or mama or mommy. It always makes me feel like I am doing a good job because it means they subconsciously see me as having a semi-parental role. I love how a teacher has the reddit username squirrely bitch. Came across a teacher post a little while back with the name piano fucker. My friend said mum by accident literally 8 days in a row. We teased him so much that we all committed to the bit. Teacher was hence known as mother for the rest of the school year. I work with teens, it does happen. It's easy to laugh off I sometimes answer yes son or daughter. Was called gran once that was worse. My little brother used to accidentally call me mum all the time. I used to get really embarrassed if he did it in public, even though I was 13, and he was 6, so it'd be highly unlikely that someone would actually assume he was my kid. I was 6 and my sister was 15, and someone thought I was her daughter at the skating rink. I am pretty sure it bothered me more than her, seeing as I still remember it all these years later. I was just a little bit perturbed by the implication that my sister gave birth at the age of 9 lol. She might have looked older than what her actual age was. I am sure she did, but I am pretty sure I did too. Despite being the youngest in my grade, I was the tallest kid in class until middle school. We also have that in common as well except I was the tallest in my class all throughout school. Same thing happened to me at the same age, but it was my teacher. I was offended for her as in TV, it was the opposite where a mother is mistaken as the sister. But my sister looks perpetually 22 so it made sense. Calling someone by a title. Not theirs indicates that they're thinking of you and feeling about you in a much similar way to the person it belongs to. That's really sweet. 
He loves you big. You really had to make me ugly cry in my living room, huh? I love him a lot too. We pretend to rag on each other, but I am actually really proud of the adult he's become. When my nephew was younger, people would assume I was him mom if it was just him, and me I was 19, when he was born, when he was about 4, he started to respond before I could with, she's not my mom. She's and Chef Yenga. With all the I am fed up with this nest that a young child can muster. Cracked me up every time. He also, when a toddler, used to call my mom mommy so often, that she taught him to call her me ma because it was just rearranging the sounds. On a serious note, when he was young, there were some extended periods when my sister wasn't around for various reasons. I think that that might have been a factor in his vehement reaction. He loved her dearly. My sister had someone tell her she was a bit young to have a son my age. She's only seven years older. I doubt it's based on age. They don't call you mom because you're mom's age but because you're in a similar role. Gran is typically someone who is perceived as more friendly, supportive, etc., and less authoritarian than mom. My girlfriend was mostly raised by her grandmother, and has accidentally called teacher's grandma before. It's the same reason someone calls their teacher mom. It's probably that the student's grandmother is who they associate that caretaker role with. This reminded me of how the first year of high school one guy went out of his way to call our homeroom teacher mom as a joke, and by year three there were two more, who had joined in, and she had long since given up and started playing along lol. I teach preschool so it's always a smile and a yes sweetie. Without being too rude, how old are or were you? My best friend in high school. A teenage girl called a male teacher dad once. She did it in front of me so I found it hilarious. I gave her so much shit for it for months. Face with tears of joy. Due to my age and COVID, I don't have much experience, but it happened to me as a trainee teacher. I found it incredibly sweet. We both laughed it off and kept going. Then she added that she wouldn't mind having two mums her real one and me. To this day, I can't tell if she meant it or if it was a joke. Anyway, I told her that I was too young to have kids of my own, but that I would like to have a daughter like her someday. I still remember her cries when I had to go back to uni, and she realized she wouldn't see me again. She definitely will remember you, and it most likely wasn't a joke. I do hope she remembers me. I remember her laughter. A very sweet, funny child. She will remember you forever. I had a student teacher once named Miss Bird, and she cried while reading Where the Red Fern Grows to Us. Literally the entire class was in tears. And when she had to leave we all made her little thank you cards, and she cried again, which made everyone else cry we were nine, Kman and then. She met us at the zoo for a field trip like two months later, and the entire class flipped shit. Good teachers, trainee or not, make a lifelong impact. I hope she remembers me like you remember Miss Bird. That would be so heartwarming. The whole class made me drawings they were 7 to 8, and told me beautiful things on my last day. I didn't want to cry, but some like her were crying, and they said that they loved my smile and my laugh, and that I had helped them all a lot, and my heart couldn't take it loudly crying face heavy black heart. I visited them once and they all gave me the biggest hug ever smiling face with heart-shaped eyes. My wife's a teacher. I love it when we're out and she runs into a former student. They always run up for a hug. Student teachers are the best. I had a lot of great teachers throughout school, but the one I remember most clearly is the student teacher we had in year 4 around 8 to 9 year old for those outside the UK. I don't remember her name, but I do remember just how generally lovely she was for the term she was there, how she seemed to genuinely care about each and every one of us, and the little certificates she gave out to us all when she had to go, I guess as a thank you for treating her nicely. I think my dad still has my certificate somewhere, I'll have to dig it out. 
Anyway, yes that kid will remember you. What a lovely experience. Two hearts. On my last day, I made a The Lion King drawing, scanned it and printed one for every kid to have as a gift to remember me and to thank them. I had to sign them all. I felt like a celeb face with tears of joy. I tutored a few kids of that class after the internship. I was gladly surprised to see they still had my drawing. If that student teacher was anything like me, she did care for each and every one of you indeed. She'd love to know you still remember her, and have that certificate smiling face with smiling eyes. My niece called me mommy for a couple years. I am her uncle. Are you sure? Well now he's the uncle. Bob's your aunt, Fanny's your uncle. Banny my unclaunt and Fob my anklet. Are you okay? Did you have a stroke? I work in a daycare. A little boy called me daddy for a few months. I am a woman. Ouch ha ha ha. Sweet though. Oh boy. Anyways, you might have been the only masculine type presence in his life so far. This is cute. My niece and nephews have three Aunt Beccas, so my wife either gets Aunt Becca or, if she's lucky, Uncle Real first name. Usually takes a couple corrections when we visit, especially now, when we don't see them for a couple months at a time, and they grow like three inches. Things like that you just have to roll with haha. -ha. Uncle Goals It was what finally made me feel like a real teacher. This is the real answer. You're not really the teacher until you achieve authority level. Mom. Yep throughout my schooling years I have elevated many teachers to reach mom status. Though I completely stopped once I reached high school. But some of my classmates continued to do so, one even bumped the PE teacher to daddy status. I am surprised there's no can we play daddy here. I am sad this doesn't have more upvotes. Poop is SUS. Emergency meeting. Truth. When they call you this it feels like it's hopefully because you're kind yet firm and treat them like the person they are. Same here. I usually laugh and say thank you. It's a huge compliment Imo. A student I was reprimanding argued back saying mom, but. And I cut her off saying that's it, no dinner for you tonight. I would be cackling hardcore if I heard that. Great. Now I have to become a teacher to bring that line. This is absolute gold. You just made that student your bitch. How proud were you for coming up with that in time? Enough for me to struggle to keep a straight face. I am laughing so hard. Thank you. Rolling on the floor laughing. True mad lad. <laughs> Called my fifth grade teacher mom on accident. She said it'll be your mom if you want jokingly although I was seriously considering it. Looking back she was one of the most influential teachers in my life. She passed a couple years later of cancer crying face why did this question just put me in an emotional time machine. May her soul rest in peace. It just takes one simple nice gesture from a teacher or any elder with influence over a child for that matter and the kids going to remember it forever and will learn a lot from it. Be nice to kids. Not that it matters really but I grew up in the absence of a decent father figure. Now I have learned to control my mouth because my teenager as will want to call dad or treat as a father figure every single male teacher who is nice to me. It sucks. I had just one teacher ask me if I was okay in my seventh grade year. I'll be grateful for him for as long as I can remember middle school. I may not remember his name right now but I feel like the man made a big difference in my life. 
See, I didn't smile in the halls and I wore strange clothes, and I didn't have many friends that year. I think I was just going through a normal depressed teenager phase, but that one teacher, the one most people didn't like, cared enough about me to make sure I knew someone noticed and was available to talk if I ever needed. It really helped pull me out of my funk just to know someone besides my parents cared about my happiness and mental health enough to talk to me about it. He reminded me that people saw me and that many more people cared about me than I had been counting. My mom died when I was in the second grade and I had to move out of state to live with my dad. When I went started back in school, I accidentally called my teacher mommy. I stopped in my tracks and started to cry. Bless that teacher's soul. She stopped what she was doing to give me a big hug. She knew what had happened and was very kind to me. Even after I left her class, she would stop to give me a hug and ask me how I was doing. She was awesome. Morning sucks, but one is the best parts about being human, is having someone you care about enough to hurt for when they are gone. It's also wonderful to know that there are people out there who will hurt for you when you are gone as well. I did that to my fourth grade teacher. She scolded me. Looking back I hated her lol. I always reply with yes my son or yes my daughter, and we all have a giggle. Tell them they're grounded next time. LOL. This is actually wholesome. Well, as a male teacher, my line would probably be not quite. I called my male teacher Miss once, but he was cool and made a joke about his pink shirt before moving on. A girl in my class called our male teacher, Gran once face with tears of joy. Oh boy I bet the responses to that were hilarious. Short for grandpa. The young ones do it all the time lol. I usually just shrug at close enough they'll grow out of it. That said got a bit of a surprise when one of my year sevens said hi mum to me. Turns out her mum business manager was behind me. Work in AP 12 school if you're confused. I am a male teacher, and I get mummed a couple times a year. I take it as the highest compliment possible. I know that feeling. I have only been called mom a couple times, but I get called MRS, sad mile failed at least once a day. I did have to bite my tongue when I almost call my male teacher dad at times. Sometimes he may heard me call him dad then I quickly reply I mean teacher. I work in a French immersion school that is mainly female teachers so every adult is called madam, whether they are married or not and male teachers get it sometimes too, haha. <laughs> wow. You are still with us. Thanks for being such a nice person. As long as you are here, why not like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also you can press the bell icon, so you won't miss any future uploads.